It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're trying our first ever beer from Salcombe Brewing Company, or Salcombe Brewery Company. This is a 4.2% ABV golden ale called Shingle Bay. It's in a 500ml bottle. Pick this up in Morrison's. There's the bottle cap. It was part of their four for three pound range of beers. Without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Four for three pound. My goodness me, I'm sorry. Four for three. Four for three. Not four for three pound. Wow! 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 Look at that! I thought it was going to burst out the top of the bottle. Then that was like a smoking gun, wasn't it? That's a perfect example of example of how a chimney works. <laughs> Uh, you can see the carbonation rolling around in that bottle. You've got that kind of head there in the bottle, which I thought at one point was going to come out, but a bit of drama. Don't mind a little bit of drama, eh? Wow, lovely carbonation. finger white head beautiful carbonation on the beer this glass does have a little widget in the bottle it's an e in the glass it's an etched glass here um amber golden amber color um, i wasn't able to initially get all the beer in but we'll have a go another go There you go. Little bit of haze, little bit of haze going on. <laughs> lovely, lovely head. Uh, let's get the aroma then. Lovely looking beer, very, very inviting. Mm. I'd say there's a combination here of new world and traditional hops. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of stinging nettle. That's not my children upstairs. Banging around, making noise. It's actually my neighbour. Because somebody's knocked their door just after 9am in the morning. Oh, and she's still going. And she's still going. Yep, now she's shouting at the person who's knocked her door. It's a delivery person delivering building materials. The work she doesn't have to pay for. Lemon. Anyway, let's get back to the beer review. Um, God, I wish I, uh, I wish I could just sit down in my chair all day and do nothing, and have building work done for nothing, and and have everything else done for nothing. And shout at people if they knock, at it, knock on my door just after nine o'clock. Because I was in bed. Because I didn't have to get up. <laughs> Lemon. Such a great fruit. A little 
little bit of sting in now. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that was mouth pepperingly nice. Did you hear that? The malts in this beer are terrific. You get a real sense of that kind of biscuity breadiness coming through. There's a touch of lemon coming through from the hops. It's it, the stinging nettle flavours coming through. So it, it's a combination, I think. I've not looked at the back of the bottle. We'll have a look in a minute. I like to kind of do a bit of guesswork. There's a lovely bitterness. Sorry, I don't know that. This, it's a lovely made me jump down. Um, plenty, of, plenty of voices in the kitchen this morning. Um, there's a lovely bitterness on the back end. Really lovely bitterness on the back of the palate. But to hazard a guess, this is a combination of lovely American hops and traditional kind of, maybe like Halatau or even like a Fuggles, even like a lovely kind of spicy, peppery, stinging nettle kind of Fuggle hop going on in there. Beautiful. Look at the lacing on the glass. Really good lacing. Good mouthfeel, great drinkability. The, the sweet malt that balances off that bitterness is fantastic. Oh, I am so pleased that I've gone back down the route of drinking bottled ale. Generally from the supermarket, but when I get on my travels and I start visiting breweries, um, I'm going to buy more... Um, more of these traditional bottled ales because they are fantastic absolutely fantastic i'm really enjoying this i'm really enjoying it i'm loving that lovely biscuit malt flavor to begin with that sweet malt flavor to begin with that rolls over to a lemon a spiciness a pepperiness a stinging nettle flavor because of course um, i haven't mentioned it yet hops and stinging nettles are cousins on the darwin tree of life so it'll branch off stinging nettle and then it'll branch off hop. They're cousins, they're direct cousins. So there's no surprise then that these hops taste or these flavours taste relatively the same or these things taste, taste relatively the same. They were using stinging nettle and then they kind of made their way over time to using hops. But yeah, they use, you definitely get a, a sense of, of, of that kind of family tree with the flavour. But a lovely beer, and at 4.2% ABV, you really, really could session it. You really could have a good session. Now, I play snooker on a Monday night, and the dear old lady who runs the snooker club, um, don't expect her to know too much about beer, but she has started to get a lot more ales in. Certainly on a Monday night for when we go and play. It's, what are we drinking at the moment? But, uh, cans of Old Speckled Then. Cans of Old Speckled Then. And it's fine. It's fine on a Monday night when you want to play snooker and you want to kind of not really think about beer too much. But I tell you what, if I could convince her to nip to Morrison's and, and buy eight bottles of this for the Monday night because me and my mate we have four each by the end of the game it's a little bit ropey the last we, we play three matches and the last match is always a bit kind of oof I've had one too many beers <laughs> but I can imagine really enjoying this if, if we could convince our, our, our lady snooker club owner to To buy some of this it's really lovely really lovely beer you can tell it's a lovely beer you can see you can see the nice carbonation you can see the lacing on the glass you can see the way that beer is well behaved in the camera 
Where are they from? From? Uh, from? Where are they from? Salcombe Brewery Company. Um, with a fruity aroma of blackberry and spice fruit, this gold nail is very easy drinking with a crisp bite. Uh, they're in Devon. Ledston Cross, Kingsbridge in Devon. Salcombrewery.com. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely beer. I'm going to rate it. This is the type of beer. Snooker match. Sunday afternoon drinking. 4.2% ABV. Well made. Session strength gold nail. That I could quite happily tuck away. Three or four pints of. In a session. And, and sometimes that's all you want beer to be. Sometimes you don't want to be always tasting mango, passion fruit, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Sometimes you just want something well built, well put together, sturdy, strong, sessionable, just decent, just decent beer. I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.